Coach Marinelli, you know, we're talking Division One Ohio is uh, it's 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 tougher than uh, as tough as it's ever been, but I think it's as wide open as it's, uh, as it's ever been. It's very wide open. I think you know Illyria obviously is a great team. Oh, yeah. St. Ed, you, you never want to no. count them out, and, and you know you got to throw molars in there. You got to throw all these different other Division One powers, but you guys are coming up, man. Yeah. And you know, I, I lear- recently learned you guys acquired one of the top high school 152 pounders in the country mm-hmm. Kyle Lawson he's coming here he got Bracken Mead back mm-hmm. he lost Furnace mm-hmm. he's smart kid he's at Cornell mm-hmm. okay yes. but you, you, <laughs> you got some some great guys on the team I think he got some firepower okay we all know finalists and semifinalists are what make it yeah okay I think you got the team you got some guys um we're talking Central Ohio does not have a big team they've never had a, a, a big school championship what do you guys got to do, and what's the outlook this year for you guys? Well, I, I, I think our outlook is, is going to be that we have to we have to grow and we have to gel as a team, and we have to get the guys at the right weights where they can where they can be competitive and where they can uh, grow and uh, be better wrestlers and, and, and improve. And sometimes that might mean sometimes guys got to sacrifice, go up a weight, go down a weight, and we need to figure that out because I'm not telling my kids where to go. Uh, they need to figure out what weight class they want to go, and then they need to go and wrestle for it. And then if they can't get that weight class, then they have to go up or they got to go down. You know? And they need to figure that out. And as a team, we, we'll figure that out and then get everybody at the spots where they're going to be and then start focusing more on uh, continual growth. Talking continual growth, you, you get a guy, you get a state champ, you get a guy who just commits to Wisconsin mm-hmm. and Kyle Lawson. Yeah. Um, how does a guy like that fall into your lap? Or do you, you know, in Ohio it's illegal to recruit, Coach. Yeah. People accuse you of recruiting at the sales, I know. Mm-hmm. Does a guy like that, how does that fall into your lap? How does that happen? I mean, you know, what, what goes on there? Yeah. Um, first of all, if I could convince somebody to, to pay $10,000 tuition and drive a half an hour to school to go to the sales every day, then I'm probably in the wrong business. Maybe I should do something else. <laughs> if I can convince someone to do that, then I could probably be making a lot more money doing something else. But if you look over there at that flag there, that's the American flag, and people are free to do whatever they want to do in America to a certain degree. So if you think it's better to move your family from here to there and go to that school, then great. That's what it's that's what it's all about. I want that freedom, and I think other people want that freedom. And if somebody chooses to go to another school and that's best for their kids, well then, that's best for their kids. So they made the choice to come here and there was no recruitment or anything like that and uh, there never has been. People go and gravitate towards places where they think it's best for them. And that's the American way for, to a certain degree. You can do what's best for your kids. You get, yeah, you do, what's best, you, do, you do what's best for your kids. And, and I'll do the same thing and most parents that will. Now, if you got the means to do it, that's one thing. And uh, if you don't got the means to do it, then you work harder, you do more things right to try to get the means to improve your the life for your uh, for your family. So looking at that guy coming in, um, well, first off, you're not wrestling anymore. I hope not. No, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd wrestle I Lawson. No, no, he's tough. No, he's, 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 he's really tough. And I wrestle a little bit, but um, mostly I do a lot of technique and, and I show the boys what I want them to do. But I'll still get on the mat a little bit. I'm like a typewriter, Zeb. I'll start at 106. I'll go to 113. <laughs> An old typewriter. For most people don't know what that is. So when I get up to 152 or whatever, it gets a little bit too difficult. I'll, I'll just go back down to 106 pounder, so I, I feel a little bit better about myself. But occasionally I'll go up and wrestle the bigger guys, but it comes a certain point in time where I want to walk out of there without having to have a surgery or something. I say, you know, me saying it, you're not saying it, but I think those, you know, you got two surefire finalists and, and guys like that mm-hmm. who else has got a who else has got a pepper and some success there who else do you look to 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 really get liberty to challenge for a trophy yeah well, we've we've got we got some we got four seniors we got we got kyle stewart we got uh, chris volpe's a state qualifier jake and a state qualifier and we got connor thomas as a state alternate coming back so i think you're as good as your senior leadership is going to be you can have a great team but if you don't have some leadership then uh, you, you, you could have some issues and hopefully we get that uh going a little bit more but you know bracket meads a state runner up you got um jordan Rosselli, who's a state qualifier and he's much improved then you've got uh connor brady 
who's a two-time middle school state um, champ, and you got Carson Kochalava, who's uh, you know just a Fargo All-American, and then we got the other Lawson brother, and we have uh, Cole Fitzpatrick, who was 10-0 or 12-0 at Disney, and you know we've got a, a lot of guy, a lot of other guys up in there that are not, people don't might not know that much about that are pretty solid wrestlers, and there's we've got 60 guys on the team hopefully this year, so we've got depth. Could Karchalava be uh, an X factor? Yeah, he's he's he, he is an X factor. I don't know if he's an X factor. He was a Fargo All American, so you know he's he's a super good person, super humble, hard worker, and you, you know that's that's what you need. He's going to continue to get better because he's got those traits. And, G genetic traits? Yeah, he's got he's got both <laughs> genetic and you know it's one thing to have the ability, but it's another thing to have the effort. So a lot of guys got the ability, but a lot of them don't have the effort, and they want to. It's not ability alone. You got to get out there, and you got to, you got to, you got to get get working and get after it. Do you look at it like this is the year we got to do it? This is the team that's got to put it together. How many years has Mark Marinelli got left in this? Is this the year where, man, we really got to make we got to stake our claim this year? Mm, no, I don't. I, I don't look at that, that this year, and I probably won't look at that next year, or the year before, or wherever it's going to be. I used to look that, at things that way, but I don't anymore. Because then you won't, you don't get as much growth out of your program. And for us to be where we're at now, if I took results only, then I'd probably have three guys on the team, and we might have three really good guys, but we wouldn't have enough to, to, to do a wrestling team. And I think a lot of guys run guys off with that kind of attitude. You know, I'd like to have a dual meet, every dual meet with three levels, freshman, JV, varsity, continuously over and over again with a lot of teams. That's how you draw fans. That's how you grow the sport. That's pretty good. I never heard anyone look at that, that philosophy. Yeah, and that's how you put butts in the seats, and that's how you make money on a dual meet. Okay, uh, a tournament, and no one wants to be there for, you know, I don't want to be there 12 hours a day. Occasionally, you got to be like that and get tested, but I want good, hard dual meets. Do you like the dual, the new dual system in Ohio? I do like it. Okay, we haven't participated in it, but that's not because I don't don't like it. It's just more of a of a of a of a time thing with us. We have our league duels on Thursday and then or, uh, Thursday and then Wednesday and Thursday and then a tournament Friday and Saturday. It's Four days in a row. Could possibly be sometimes. Wow, that that's kind of so, that's a lot of weigh-ins. Yeah, I love my wrestlers, but I love my family more. <laughs> All right, well, you know, if you guys are able to be in that mix of those teams, mm -hmm. what, what, is, what is the ultimate number? Do you got a qualification number? Of, we got to have 10 guys, four in the finals. Do you ever figure it that way? No. You know what? You know what I, I think if there's a must, I say you must be able to get out from the bottom, and you must be able to write a guy out. So if there's anything like that, which I'm stressing on our guys right now, is I want our guys to be – Pennsylvania style mat wrestlers get on the bottom get on the top be able to ride and turn and be able to get out so if there's a must in my situation it's we must be better on the mat 